Okay, so this is part two of 3.3 slash 3.4. So we're just continuing on everything we went over yesterday. Again, we're going to use that box from the page before this one that says solving simple exponential and logarithmic equations to help us solve our equations. So for example four, we're solving an exponential equation. First thing we want to do is get our number with the exponent all by itself on one side. So we're going to move everything we can over to the other side of our equation. So here we're going to add four on both sides. So this is 15 is equal to two times three to the power of two t minus five. And then we can still get this two to the other side. So we're going to divide both sides by two. So this is three to the power of 2, t minus 5, is equal to 7.5. Next thing we need to do is get rid of this exponential part here, this part. And we can get rid of our exponent by taking the ln of both sides. So we're going to take the ln of the left side and the ln of the right side. Once we take the ln, we can take our exponent and move it to the front. So now it's being multiplied by that ln. So we have 2t minus 5 times ln of 3 is equal to ln of 7.5. Next thing we're going to do is get rid of that ln of 3. We're going to move it to the other side, so since it's being multiplied, we have to divide it on both sides. So now 2t minus 5 is equal to ln of 7.5 divided by ln of 3. So now we have to put this ln of 7.5 divided by the ln of 3 into our calculator. So the ln of 3 is 1.0986. And the ln of 7.5 is 2.014903. So we divide these two. So 2.014903 divided by 1.0986. gives us 1.83406, which we can round to 4, 1. And then this is still equal to 2t minus 5. So let me just solve for t. We add 5 to both sides. So I'm going to move this over here. So when we add 5, now we have 2t is equal to 6. 0.8341, then we divide both sides by 2. So t is equal to 3.4170. That's our final answer. So now for example 6, we're doing the same thing, but here we have two different forms that it gives us in. So we're just solving for x, but we have to look at our chart to see what we need to do differently here. So anytime we have the ln of an x or whatever this part here is, we are going to take e on both sides and have our equation as our exponent. So this is e to the ln of 3x is equal to e squared. So e and ln cancel out, so this is just 3x is equal to e squared. Then we just do e squared in our calculator, which is 7.389, and then divide both sides by 3. So we get x is equal to 2.4630.
for b. Here we have log of 3 and log of 3. Anytime we have the logs with the same base, like 1 on each side of our equation, they cancel each other out and we just set the rest of it equal to each other. So we have 5x minus 1 is equal to x plus 7. Then we just solve for x. So subtract x on both sides. So 4x plus 1 on both sides. 4x is equal to 8. Now we divide both sides by 4. x is equal to 2. Alright, we have one more on this page. Example 7. So we have 5 plus 2 times ln of x is equal to 4. So we always want to get, if we have an ln or log, we want to get that all by itself. So we're going to subtract 5 on both sides. So 2 ln of x is equal to negative 1. Next, we're going to divide the 2 on both sides. So ln of x is equal to negative 1 half. And then we have this ln of x all by itself here. So we are going to take e and put it on both sides of our equation. So we have e to the power of ln of x is equal to e to the power of negative 1 half. e to the power of ln cancels out, so we're just left with x is equal to e to the power of negative 1 half, and then we can just put that into our calculator. So x is equal to 0 0.6065. Alright, the next page. Example 8. So we need to solve, solve the logarithmic equation again, doing the same thing. So we want to get our log all by itself, so here we can divide both sides by 2 to cancel that 2 out. So we have log base 5 of 3x is equal to 2. Anytime we just have a log on one side, we need to see what our base is here and make a base of 5 on both sides of our equation. So now we have 5 raised to the power of log base 5 of 3 of x and 5 squared. So this 5 and the log base 5 cancel out. So we're left with 3x is equal to 5 squared. 3x is equal to 25, and then we just divide both sides by 3. So 25 divided by 3 is 8.33. So x is equal to 8.33. Okay, for number 9. So here, we're solving again, but it gives us a little hint here that we need to check for extraneous solutions. So we'll check for that once we solve and get values for x. So we have the ln of x minus 2 plus the ln of 2x minus 3 is equal to 2 ln of x. So our goal here is just to eliminate minimize the amount of lns that we have. So here we can combine this ln of x minus 2 plus ln of 2x minus 3. When we're adding our lns, that means we can multiply them together. So we get rid of one of our lns, so we're just left with ln of x minus 2 times 2x minus 3. So we just condensed our equation. And this is equal to 2 ln of x. Now one of our rules says if we have the ln of x is equal to the ln of y, our lns cancel out and we would just have x is equal to y. So here we want to get ln of something and ln of something. So we need to move that 2 up top just to get it out of the way. So I'm going to take this 2 Put it as our exponent, so now this is ln of x minus 2 times 2x minus 3 is equal to ln of x squared. Once we have the ln of something and the ln of something else, our lns cancel out, so now we just have x minus 2 times 2x minus 3 is equal to x squared. 
and now we just solve for x. So on the left side we have to FOIL. We have x times 2x, which is 2x squared. x times negative 3, negative 3x. Negative 2 times 2x would be negative 4x. Negative 2 times negative 3, positive 6. We can move this x squared over, so subtract x squared on both sides. x squared minus 3x minus 4, which we can combine these two together. So this becomes minus 7x, so I just combine our like terms here. Plus 6 is equal to 0. Now we can factor. So we need two factors of 6 that add to give us negative 7. So this would be negative 1 and negative 6. So x minus 1 times x minus 6 is equal to 0. So we get x is equal to 1 and 6. Now, when we need to check for extraneous solutions, that means we have to take what we found for x and plug it back into our equation. And we have to remember we cannot take the ln of a negative number. So right off the bat, if one of these numbers were negative, we, knew, we know that that cannot be one of our answers because we're taking the ln of an x. So if we took the ln of a negative number, that would just make it not a solution. So both of these numbers are positive, so it works for this ln, so we're good checking that one. Next we can check our first ln here. So we're going to plug in 1. So we have ln of 1 minus 2. This would be the ln of negative 1. If you put the ln of negative 1 in your calculator, it will say error. You can't take the ln of a negative number. So therefore, 1 is not a solution. We can plug in 6 now into our first one. So we have ln of 6 minus 2. This is the ln of 4, which would work. It's a positive number. Next, we have to try our third one here. So we're going to plug in 6. So we have the ln of 2 times 6 minus 3. 2 times 6 is 12. And 12 minus 3 is 9, so the ln of 9. 9 is a positive number, so this works. So our only solution here is x is equal to 6. Since we plugged in 1 and got a negative number here, it automatically became not a solution. So we can never take the ln of a negative number. So we always have to check for that. So this is the last example from the notes. You're going to turn in these notes in the same exact spot you turned in part one. So you're just going to have two submissions for part one. And I'm just going to grade it to make sure that you have part one and part two turned in. And then also the web assign is due on Friday morning. So make sure when you're done with the notes, you get started on the web assign. See you guys on Friday.